Hey everybody, Sam back once again. Yes, we've got this in for review today. The Easy Speaker by, I think it's Sonivo or maybe Sonivo. So yeah, let's check it out. Right, so yes, the Easy Speaker, and as you can see just there, no wires, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. Use a technology called Near Field Audio. I'm going to take you around the box really quickly. Again, if you want to pause your screen, you can do that up into different countries, languages and whatnot. Onto the back, and once again, if you want to read through it, you can do. Obviously, that's what I'm going to tell you in this video today. So, let's open her up and show you get inside there. Well, I'm going inside, I just want to say a big thank you to Sonivo, or Sonivo, I'm not too sure how you do say the actual company name, for sending this to me for the review. I'll get the stuff out of here. I'll explain to you why you get these cables in just a moment or two. So, let's just actually get it back out. I'll stick that off to the side. And inside there, you also get your little information book at tiny how to use it but at least be honest I never read those so that can get chucked off to the side. Here's the actual speaker unit itself. And you see there it looks like it's got two Wi-Fi logos. That's as soon as I saw that I thought hey up why has it got Wi-Fi logos on it? But anyway we'll come to that in just a moment or two. It has got an inbuilt battery and because of that obviously you want to be able to charge that so they give you the cable which is a USB to a mini USB. And you also get your auxiliary cable as well. So if you don't have a device that uses a speaker, um, let's say an iPod, then you can use something like this or some kind of random MP3 player. It will work with this one as well. But the whole idea between behind this actual box is as long as your device you're looking to play music from has got an external speaker that faces down or can actually face towards it somewhere, then this will play music through it. Now. As he said, no wires, no applications, no you need to connect to it, it just works. And I'm going to hopefully try and show you that today. So as you can see on the back, you've just got there, we've got your auxiliary input and your mini USB. And it on and off. Now when you turn it on, you get your little blue lights on the front. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to stick that there. Obviously I've got my Galaxy S4, so I'm going to use that for the premises of this uh, video. I'm also going to show you, that it's not just for a Galaxy, you can use it for other devices as well. And I'm going to play two pack changes. So, I'm just going to show you. You can probably hear that now. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Now, what you need to do is make sure the speaker goes to these little points here or to that side. So, hopefully, you're going to be heard to the, hear the difference. So, ready? Take it off. Push it back on. And boom. You can probably hopefully tell the difference in the sound there straight away. Now obviously I can put the music up to the full, so if I stick it up to its full, you can hear how loud it is in here. Yeah. As you can probably hear there, it gets very, very loud. So that's obviously using the Galaxy S4. But will it work with other devices? So obviously I've got my Lumi device here as well. So let's just um, try this one out as well. So let's just go into the Lumi itself. Let's go down to the music application, which is Nokia Music we're going to use for this demo today. Again, a free, if you're not seeing my Nokia Music video, I will put an annotation there. So um, let's bring in a bit of Stone Sour. Let's do a catch up with it. There we go. So as I just said then, it's just going to play the music. Obviously this is streaming music. So that was stuff was on my device. This is streaming. And we have Last of the Real by Stone Sour. So again, hopefully you can hear that. I will turn it obviously to point towards it. But all you need to do is put it on it. And you can hear the difference straight away. I'll have to have it like that. Turn it over towards the actual. I mean hopefully you can hear the difference there. What I will also do is give it a fair test like that as well. And I think you'll agree, it is a very impressive way of it actually doing it. I'm not 100% sure how it does work, but I'm not really bothered in all honesty, it does work. 
Um, a couple of words for you though, a couple of words of one if you do end up getting one, is when you do put your device down, obviously you do need the speaker to be at this side. Um, so I've tried it at that side, it doesn't work. So make sure that your speaker itself is there. And I'm gonna guess it's some kind of vibration technology is where it kind of feels the vibrations and pops them out. It will work with an iPhone, an Android device, anything that's got an external speaker. It does also work with the HTC One, but it's a little strange because the HTC One obviously uses both speakers at the same time, so it can get a little strange at times. But with any other device, it's just got like one speaker, such as Galaxy S4, Lumia 925, iPhone 5, etc. It works a charm. So one thing I would say with regards to the easy speaker is I wouldn't have your phone above 70%, just because it can get a little muffly at times, so you want to be careful, don't go too high, or it will sound a bit distorted. The actual um, device itself has got an 800 milliamp hour battery, it's obviously underneath there, and it's rated to last up to about five hours. Now, I've been using it on and off, and probably accruing out of the time, probably got about four or four and a half, nearly five-ish kind of hours so far, um, and it's not died on me yet, so I do believe the claims are five hours battery life, but what do you think? I've got to say, I'm impressed by it. I think it's a cracking little device, and I love how you don't need any wires. Um, if you do want to use wires, again, you do get the cable for it. If you've got an MP3 player that doesn't have an external speaker, but if it does, just pop it on, away it goes, and uh, yeah, job done. But what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? As always, leave those comments down below. If you like this video, then please do hit that thumbs up. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. Anyway, people, thanks for watching this one, and you'll see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.